it's Sarah and today I have a project share I created an art doll and those of you you some of you may have seen my Facebook page and I posted a picture of her and I wanted to talk about this um, during some of my um, room shares and stuff you guys have seen these art dolls that are uh, around my room I have two I have three of them in here uh, and I, I have four actually and I have one in the back room and these were from a class that I took um, and I wanted to create one myself so that I could teach it and not get in trouble in any way and so I did I started to th thanks to you guys and all your suggestions I I decided on a steampunk theme so with that in mind, I started crafting and creating and thinking about shapes. Um, this is one of those coloring books. This was at uh, my, my AC Moore. Um, so basically, those of you who don't know, steampunk is a movement now, right? And it's basically a fantasy, but it's from around the Victorian era and the, the revolutionary um, the Industrial Revolution. So, um, but then you can get sci-fi and you can go futuristic with it. It's just, there's a lot you can do with it. But it's basically things that were powered by steam, cogs and wheels, so a lot of clocks and springs and things like, and spinners and propellers and pulleys. But uh, it's really anything goes. You, don't, you can do whatever you want to with it. Um, so I had that as inspiration. I kind of grabbed, I had done this piece. Uh, this was by, um, her name will come to me, Lori. Uh, man, I'm having brain problems today. Anyway, this is a steampunk tin and I used uh, embossing folder and um, I think this is the foil tape and then my um, my Tim Holtz alcohol inks and all types of different embellishments um, I probably have a video share on it and there's a light bulb and a hot air balloon and gears and chain and cogs but there's the steampunk lady and it's usually a top hat a monocle goggles you can do like um, the old the very first pilots the the helmets they wore the goggles they wore so flayed helmets things like that so i had that for inspiration and then i have my little steampunk uh domino book and i love this i just love the colors but there's peacock feathers inside let's open the other side i haven't opened it in a while and then on this side there's just some uh this is from graphic 45 and there's a little B I don't know why I put that there and then I just put the uh, peacock feathers but look see there's a clock with some with a lock and a key some gears a little bling but I did it in like a patina you know but I love it it's my little so anyway then I got to drawing I started sketching I had a big piece of paper and just this this has been cut now because you know I just started playing with designs uh, what shape the doll should be this is kinda what I came up with towards the end and then I start I cut out the template so that I could get the wood cut um, and then she started looking like this and um, you know I got ideas for wings I, I knew I wanted her to have wings so then it ended up being like this so this is basically the shape I came up with let's see if you can see that yeah you can see it and so this is the body shape the head the I got a top hat and a base and then it's all connected with dowels and I can show you that right here so here she is this is the shape it's three pieces basically and then you connect them with the dowels and so her head can go either way. Um, I decided to tilt to put a slant on the head so that the hat is kind of slanted, which I really like that instead of just keeping it straight. 
and I ended up giving my girl some arms so you're ready for the big reveal here she is and I'm hoping I'm gonna do this as a class so let's see here's this is the front it's gonna be hard to shoot like this let's just start at the top <clears throat> I'm gonna move this back a little Oh, my God. sorry I gotta use my feet to push the tripod I can't find it there it is all right all right sorry about that um all right let's see if I can shoot it from above for a second so you can see that it's basically what is that like a two by four width so she, it's three-dimensional but it's flat you see what I'm saying so all right let's do the front so I gave her goggles and I made these out of um, toggles I didn't put any glass in them and I didn't think it really was necessary so I just wanted it to look like goggles and I used findings that I had I did have to buy the toggle because my toggles were too small and this piece of chain wouldn't fit around the toggles I had I used a little thin piece of leather and used that as the strap and then I just used um, a jump ring and squished it but the whole doll herself is painted she's hand painted so what we're gonna do in the class is I'm gonna take you through the painting process so we'll paint and I mean I think her face turned out pretty cute I'm not an expert at faces and you can absolutely I the person who did these downloadables they're still available so you can still get the printable to do the face if you if you don't want to paint it but there's also you can also maybe just use your own face like blow up a picture or something of a face get it from a magazine you can just mod podge it on there but I wanted to paint mine I wanted this whole thing to be me so I painted it um, her body I just gave her a panelette set like a pantaloon so it's basically it's like a a tank top it's a whole piece that comes to the knees and then all right I'll go back up a little and then I put a corset on her so this is a leather corset it's supposed to look like a leather corset right I gave her this belt now this was in my stash you, most of what I have used as embellishments on here I had I bought these beads yesterday at Joann's and I got such a good deal I don't know what the heck was going on but they gave me 70% I think I had a coupon for 70% off so this is the Jesse James beads I got it for 159 and then the toggles I got for 89 cents each because I had to buy two toggles for the for these and that's it so that was 361 for that and that's pretty much all I bought I had everything else in my stash um, the wings are made of leather well let's start at the top so I painted the the top hat and put the goggles painted her face I gave her earrings and I just used the tiny little uh, I think these are by Tim Holtz is this what I use yet yeah. the ideology screw eyes and I had these in my stash screwed them into and actually I just made a hole using an awl it's like an awl I had these for years they're for um, tin punching but I just took this pointy and just made a hole where I wanted it to go and just screwed them in so I gave her little pearl earrings and then after painting everything's done and painted I sealed it I put uh, this varnish on it satin varnish then you can start adding all your embellishments this was from my stash it's from actually um, an earring it was a it was a I have I've pulled first before I did her I just pulled all my steampunky looking stuff and went through it and just pulled out as I went along what I wanted to use I was so happy to find this ribbon and this might have been gifted to me it was probably from Mary Allen but um, it just happened to match the colors that I used for the leather so I made her shoulder straps with that and put a little bit around the base and the bottom of her um, panelettes but what I was gonna say was this that bling came from an earring and I think I just took it all apart don't forget that you can yeah I did it was a bunch of chains that hung together that bling chain was one of them and they were on an earring and I got them on clearance and so don't forget that you can take things apart and uh, 
you know, this was the chain that I had. I used this chain and I just glued it on top of her straps there. I glued it here and I think that's about it. But um, I want to show you. Okay, so all these embellishments are added after all the painting is done. This leather was, I think I got it in a grab bag. Or actually, it might have been gifted me too. I don't keep track and I pull stuff out as I need it. I wasn't thrilled with the front of it, but I liked the suede part. So I cut it to fit this belt buckle. And these are the Tim Holtz belt buckles and I've had them forever. See, this is what it was like. I'll sh let me show you this. I think this was kind of something like this. It came, but it was already made on an earring. So, I mean, I could have used these. These are like pearlescent looking, but that, I have tons of that chain because I use it in my mosaics too. Um, so where was I? The belt. So I made this belt and then thinking about it, I could have added grommet, not grommets, but, um, oh, what are they called? I should have added holes around it and it would have just given more metal to it. And I, and it's glued on, so I, I couldn't do it after I thought of it. Um, and then, like I said, just chain. And then this is just from my stash. I think it's from AC Moore. It's like the dollar. It's five inch by two inch. Just lace, really cheap lace. Nothing fancy at all. But I just love that it, I didn't know what I was gonna do, but it fit perfectly at the bottom, from top to bottom. And then, so I painted the dowels, but and just in skin tone and started to like shade them and everything, but they really don't show, so I just kind of left them like that. And then the base, I just painted, now this isn't black, this is Payne's Gray. The, all the black on here is Payne's Gray. And then these wings are actually leather. The guy who cut me the wood, Mickey, hey Mickey, if you're watching this, he had this leather, um, he's a saver of things too, so I said, well, let me see that. And I, we ended up cutting, I cut it, on the bandsaw, cut these wings out. Um, and then I'm gonna flip her over and show you the back. So here's the back. Um, so yeah, the leather, <coughs> I liked how it frayed too on the edges where we cut it. Um, and then I just embellished. I had, like I said, I pulled all my gears and cogs. Some of them are the Tim Holtz. Some of them are jewelry that you go to the jewelry department and they have like you can buy them like this in the jewelry department. I cut them all apart now, but they came all linked together. And I've had, I've gotten some from Hobby Lobby before, all different kinds, flat ones, thick ones. So I just pulled them all out and just kind of arranged them on the back of the wings to kind of make it look like it's the mechanism of the wings, I don't know. And I use glossy accents to, uh, to adhere those. And I used actually E6000 to glue the whole wings onto here and to glue this piece onto here. And then this was just, again, something from my stash that I've always wanted to use. I was gonna give her a big bow on her butt, like a bustle, but then I just hung this down and I love it. I love the way it looks. So the back's just, that's it. I just really jazzed up the back of the wings. I just thought I'd leave the front of the wings kind of plain. Although I did think about adding um, something to them, but I, I've so, I mean, listen, you could go crazy embellishing. It's so fun. Oh, I added the lace to her shoulders, which I love the way that looks. And oh, this is a piece of, um, that I took apart again, that I got on clearance that's been in my stash forever, but I just took her head off and popped this little crown around her neck for a necklace. Um, Arda cake, it's a piece of Arda cake. Um, so, but I was gonna give her a pearl necklace. I was just, I was gonna do something. This is a tiny ball chain. And I had this, I think this was in the jewelry department too, because usually ball chain is like about like this wide. That's an average size ball chain. But if you look at this one, it's teeny tiny, really, really thin. But I have like, I had a gold one and then this is like a silvery, I can't even find it. Oh, here it is. And it came with the little um, 
connectors. See, this is the toggles. I was going to give her a monocle too because I'm, oh, I got to zoom up. Sorry. You know, monocles are very popular in uh, the Victorian era. And um, you, you kind of hold a monocle in place with your eye. Like, I think it looks cool. I definitely like it. I don't know. I just, it was my first face I painted and I didn't really want to, but I was going to hang a piece of chain from it too. So there's so much you can do. It's just, your imagination is just, you know, and it was so fun. Steampunk is a really fun um, theme to do. Uh, so wait, one more thing. So I just wanted to show you the arms. So that is my favorite part because these art dolls didn't have arms. The only way you could make arms was to ha use these, which I ordered online. And we also used paper because we collaged all of the design onto those art dolls. But her, I just think they look fantastic. And I just went to, like I said, I went to Joanne's yesterday and just knew that this was my accent color because I had this leather. That was the accent color I went with. Um, I found these beads and they were per they couldn't have been more perfect. The, it, this was the whole strand. This, and then there was a turquoise bead, which I don't know where it is. It's on my desk somewhere in the middle. And then it went like that. So I just, and then I put a clock dangling from this hand and a little, um, this is actually like a key ring. There's keys on it and it's a ring and I put that on that hand. But I love, when, if you could see it standing up, it looks so cute. So I'm really thrilled. Um, all right, um, I'll be right back. I just wanted to shoot her from the front, but man, I don't have a good angle. Anyway, I'm just going to talk while she's hanging here. But see how her arms just, it just brings it all together. I love it. I'm very proud of it. I think it's adorable. Um, and I think it's teachable. So I got the kits. I am, I have no idea. I am going to be selling these kits in my Etsy store for $12 plus shipping. Um, so if, if you want to, you can get the kit. Um, I'm also going to send along with the kits. A, well, no, I don't, I'm not, I don't need to. I'm going to list it because this pattern for the wings was something that I found online and it's a pr you can print it right off um, your computer. Um, what was I going to say though? Um, yeah, everything else can be made, like the wings can be made from um, chipboard. Uh, everything else, you can wing it. I'm going to give you the design for just the underclothing. So her panelette and the um, what is this called? A corset. Um, and the hat. So it'll all be painted when we're done. Then I'm going to leave the accessorizing to you. So um, I may show you how I made the goggles. And I'm going to show you how, to atta how I attach her arms and um, stuff like that. But for the most part, I really just want to share the painting techniques that I did. And get her at least so she's ready to get fancied up after that all right so I will let you know when because he's still he cut me too because I need to have one to teach you and the other thing is if you don't buy the wood you can just paint it in your art journal or um, paint it uh, hmm you know on a piece of paper or just I don't know it, it's a super cute little fun thing to do so I'm definitely going to be doing that and um, I'll get back to you I will definitely let you know when they become available in my Etsy store all right you guys I hope you like her as much as I do I just think she's adorable and um, really fun to make and that's it for now thanks for watching